Hello, and welcome to the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of October 4th, 2020. Today, I actually have a, uh, I actually, I have a TikTok account, and I actually found a guy on there talking about President Trump and having COVID. I'm actually, uh, I sort of swiped that from TikTok. Yes, I do multi-platform, but I'm asking for viewer content, well, content from the viewers to add to my videos to help the Senate and the House Representatives and the President to see how bad it really is out there. And this 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 content I got, like I said, I got it from Twitter, so I'm multi-platform. And it's about uh, some guy's dad finding out that Trump has COVID. I'm actually going to put that clip in right now, as soon as I'm done talking, that is. And then when I come back, I will fill you in on what our, what our topics are for this version of uh, my broadcast. So please enjoy this, con this uh, video. I just can't keep this, this, this thought in my mind. Quick, quickly on Trump getting COVID. Well, he's a senior citizen. He should be willing to sacrifice his life to keep the economy moving forward. <laughs> and welcome back. Today on my version of uh, the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update, we are going to do the Stimulus, pack, the Stimulus Package Smackdown. And it's a wrestling match between four contenders, which are four different stimulus packages. We have the original Heroes Act passed back in May, and some of the stuff it contains inside it. We also have the March to Common Grounds Act that was a Problem Solvers Caucus idea. We also have the Heroes Act 2.0, which is the current package on the table by the, Dem the Democrats. And then we also have the unknown name one that is uh, the current stimulus package, the, which is the counter offer from the Republicans to the Heroes Act 2.0. So without any further ado, let's hop on the deal and let's get started here. Okay, for the Heroes Act, its total cost was $3.4 trillion. And we all know that the, Dem the Republicans said that that act was dead upon arrival because of its price tag. But what it had in it to help out the people basically was it had extended unemployment for $600 a week, which is actually a pretty good deal. It had more paycheck protection money for small businesses and, and self, the self-employed. It had a second $1,200 stimulus check plus $1,200 per dependent. I don't know exactly how many dependents that was. I think it was two dependents only that you could do for the HEROES Act. So basically, a married couple could get an easy $4,800, which is actually a pretty good deal. It had one train for state and local assistance. It, has, it also had hazard pay for essential workers resulting in a $13 per hour pay increase and back pay from January 27th, 2020 to current date, but not to exceed $10,000. Plus, it also um, had other stuff in it, but they, they never actually defined the hazard pay for essential workers because there is a lot of people out there that actually are not frontline workers that are considered essential workers that might not be included in that version of a hazard pay. I've been trying to do some research on it and I really haven't found out anything. They says that it, essential workers include like warehouses and, and stuff like that. But the, I don't know if that actually includes that in that version of the pay though. And then we have the March to Common Grounds Act, which is the Problem Solvers Caucus version of a stimulus package that reigns in at $1.5 trillion. And it has in it $100 billion for testing and health care. It has $316 billion for a second stimulus check, $120 billion for unemployment, $290 billion for more paycheck protection money, and it's $145 billion for schools and child care, $500 billion for state and local government assistance, $400 million for uh, electrical, uh, electoral support, sorry about that, $52 million for broadband, Agriculture, UPS, and the census. I think there's actually 52 million, but I could be wrong. Um, workers and, worker and liability protection. An automatic booster if COVID gets worse. It also has um, 25 billion for rental assistance, 10 billion for the SNAP program, 1 billion for the WIC program, and student loan for through December 31st, 2020. 
Its boosters are, as I will tell you, its boosters are an automatic three month UI enhancement in, until February of 2020 at a cost of 120 billion at a cost of 120 billion dollars. An automatic stimulus check at a cost of 280 billion dollars, which is really weird because the stimulus program that they did in the CARES Act cost 316 billion dollars. So this is actually losing 36 billion dollars. So that means people are going to be getting a smaller stimulus check or a more tighter group is going to be getting a stimulus check. It has uh, 60 billion dollars in paytech protection money. It has 150 billion dollars in state and local assistance as well as $10 billion in a rental assistance. And they said that heavyweight reigns in it $1.5 trillion. Now, the next heavyweight on the list is the Heroes Act 2.0. He weighs in at a big old whopping $2.2 trillion. And he has a second stimulus check for $1,200 plus $500 per dependent. And I believe for that one, the... um. The dependents were, as long as they're actually on your source, your uh, tax forms, that you can claim as many as you need. This is what I'm guessing, is what I'm believing what it says. An extension of unemployment at $600 per week. It has $50 billion in housing assistance for renters and mortgage payers. It has more paycheck protection money. The amount was not actually given on that one. I actually looked it up. It has restaurant assistance, which is also hasn't been didn't give me a dollar amount on. It has bailout for the airlines at $3.5 billion. It has no essential employee help, though. So basically, this version of the Sims package, the essential workers are completely just cut from it, gone. And their reason is, is because the state and local assistance at $436 billion will be enough to keep the essential workers employed. That's what they're looking for, keeping people employed. But that's, that's, that's a, a topic for a different broadcast. <laughs> and it's $75 billion for the COVID testing and treatment. It has money for the food assistance programs. It has money for farmers. It has money for the post office. $10 billion for the post office, to be more precise. $250 billion for schools. $392 million for the Oceanic and Atmospheric Associations. Has twenty nine million for the, the National Cemetery Association, a hundred billion for the multi state transport of people and cargo, um, one billion dollar for the Community Development Financial Institution, two point four billion for the Amtrak, one point three billion for FEMA. Even though we took what forty four billion dollars out of FEMA to give you give out the unemployment in the first place, so. 1.3 billion for FEMA is sort of weak, but eh, that's FEMA for you. Then we also have 1.5 billion for prisons, prisoners, and ex prisoners for their rehabilitation programs. And as I, as I put in one of my other stimulus uh, updates, the Senate is going to have a hard time swallowing the 1.5 billion for the prisons, prisoners, and ex prisons. Prisoners, sorry. And then we come in at the next, the, the, the lowest heavyweight, well, still one of the heavyweights out there. It weighs in at a big old whopping $1.62 trillion. It is the Republicans' counteroffer, which currently does not have a name. And it has an extension of unemployment at $400 per week, state and local assistance at $186 billion, schools for $150 billion, post office for $5 billion, a second stimulus check plus five hundred dollars for per dependent, so that could go from three sixteen to higher depending on how many dependents you have. More paycheck protection money. Twenty eight billion for student loan assistance. Sixty billion for in renters assistance. Twenty five billion for child care. Three billion for the VA. Twenty billion for farmers. Twenty eight billion for the airlines. And the dollar amount for restaurants is still quite unknown because they haven't discussed that part yet. And there's also talks about a phased-in stimulus check idea that will range in the range of $1,000 to $1,200. Like I said, that is just a talk, more like a rumor of that. But that's basically the four contender heavyweights. And I would appreciate my viewer content to let me know which heavyweight they're hoping to win. 
Keep in mind, the Heroes Act 1 has already been sort of knocked out before it even got in the ring. But you can still say that one if you wish. Doesn't, it wouldn't bother me because it's your choice. It's you the one who makes what, makes what happened happy, you know? So take your pick. Who's the heaviest weight you want to win? What you want to choose to win this battle? And please let me know in my comments. Until then, thank you. You guys have a wonderful day. And I will broadcast again to you when more relevant information comes available that I believe you need to know or tomorrow on Monday. So until then, you guys have a magnificent Sunday.